Hello. We are here and starting soon and starting now. Hey. Happy Friday. Here we are. Ta-da. We did it again. And uh, happy Valentine's Day weekend. Yeah, happy Valentine's Day weekend. Lovebirds. She has read. I have read Lumberjack. <laughs> Tonight, we are also cooking something red-ish. And it just so happens that uh, they kind of look like hearts. <laughs> they were the biggest pieces that I can get. They kind of look like hearts. Red, pink, ahi, ahi tuna. tuna. We love ahi tuna. Super excited. And honestly, Kale makes the best seared ahi tuna. He does this really beautiful sesame crust uh, that I absolutely sesame. love. Sesame seed crust <laughs> right here. Shik, 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 shik. Shik, yeah, shik. it's really seriously so freaking good. Um, so we're going Asian. That's our favorite cuisine um, whenever we cook. And honestly, a lot of the times when we do go out, we always want to get Asian food or pizza and pasta. I want pizza. Pizza sounds good. I always want pizza. Anyways, drinks. <laughs> Not necessarily going along the same lines. We're doing a whiskey sour. Yes. And one of my favorites, it's a egg cocktail. Uh, with, of course, all of this Maker Mark. Just kidding. Not all of it. All of it. <laughs> I looked and over here because we had the camera over here before, but now it's over here. I know. It's like, it's like I'm like, wait. <laughs> check one, check two. Uh, but it's one of my favorite cocktails. So it's also very like low key and um, underrated, especially when people hear the word egg in their beverage. They're like, what? But it's just what? egg white, right? You're not eating the yolk. Exactly. So it gives it a nice frothiness, makes it nice and light. So people that are not very used to drinking whiskey, it's a kind of cool introduction to your cocktail. Kind of sweet too. Yes. Actually, you know what? I don't even think I've had a real one. Really? Ever. Oh my gosh. Yes. Here we go. Trying something it's new. It's happening. Every show. Odd speaker, what's up? What's going on? Make sure you're texting this link to... What? Oh, Siri's talking to hey, us. Hey, Siri, shut up. <laughs> I said I was gonna be good last time. Oh, he's not. Make sure you're forwarding <laughs> this link to everyone. That means you, Odd Tweaker. Forward it to everyone you know. Everyone. everyone. It doesn't matter who they are. I mean, <laughs> I guess they're in your contacts list, so you know them, but just send it like, hey, check this out. I mean, even your boss is totally fine. Yeah, everyone. We'll become friends with them, I promise. Yeah. All right, so. <laughs> oh, well, we need to talk about the sides too, no? We're gonna talk about our sides. So we got our ahi tuna steaks, which you just sear, and they're gonna be pretty much, um, hello? Oh yeah, something happened with my phone. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Ahi tuna steaks, so we pretty much just sear, but they're gonna have a, like a crust on these sesame seeds. Um, and then we have bok choy, baby bok choy. Super cute, baby bok choy. It's kind of like a, a hybrid. You see like the leaves look like spinach if you haven't had them before. And then the base is kind of like a celery base, but not stringy, it re like reserves a lot of water. Kind of cabbage-y, um, but absorbs flavor really, really nicely. And I'm a big, big fan. And then- Broccoli. Broccoli. And then we're gonna jazz it up with some sauces. Cilantro, we got green onion. Mm -hmm. We're making some sauce. We got some real ginger this time. We're gonna it. That's a technical term for how you <laughs> cut and slice ginger. Odd Tweaker says eating Doritos and drinking a LaCroix. Ooh, which LaCroix? Aren't you it. aren't you sampling a tastier beverage? I mean LaCroix is good, but isn't there like a Friday beverage that you got going on? I drink LaCroix out of uh, Kale's hot butcher glasses because I don't know why. <laughs> I just do. It's my go-to thing. Uh, I'm chugging I water because I didn't drink enough water today. Yeah, last time he kind of got drunk. And well, <sighs> at least we went to bed very early. I went to bed so early. <laughs> We okay. were tired. And then we've got jasmine rice. Hello. Jasmine. It's me in a bag. That's that. That's the rice. <laughs> Ooh, when are we going to cook kale? Oh. <laughs> no, I don't like it. I can make it good. I promise. Anyways, okay, I'll, I'll try it. But we should get to this the, the beverage. Beverage. Drum roll. Beverage. Okay. May you grab the ice, please? Yes. So the cool thing about doing a cocktail with egg, uh, well, you want to build it in the in the shaker completely dry. When they say dry, that means no ice whatsoever. So first things well, first. Well, I just put that right in front of the camera, didn't I? Oh, it's okay. I'm silly. I'll move my hot butcher glass out of the way. So we're going to serve it in a coupe glass. Uh, traditionally, you could do that. Now, you're going to start with, remember, the non-alcoholic items first. So I would start with the egg just because 
in case you break a shell into it, you could scoop it out. So remember, egg white. Oh, that's a big one. That is a big one. I think I might split this cocktail then. No, let's just make a huge one. That's what I'm saying. Like, make two cocktails. We'll just put it in this. <laughs> right? So traditionally, your eggs are not that big. And that was a, that was a big boy. That's all right. It's all right, it'll be fine. Oh, actually, I got a, I got a little... Um, what, a little scoopula in there? I got a little shell. Really? Mm-hmm. I'm usually really good at this stuff. Jeff. Not today. Kale's had kale on pizza and he liked it. You are making things up, sir. <laughs> he, There's no proof of this. And any, I mean, if it, I get, okay, if it's, if it's mixed with sauce and cheese, maybe. Wait, what? I, apparently I had kale on pizza and. Oh, I'm sure he did. I mean, I liked it. I've given him kale and salads. There's no proof. That's proof. There's no proof. All right, so moving forward, cocktail. We're gonna do uh, three fourths of lemon juice, fresh. In this instinct, I'm gonna do an ounce and a half because I'm doing a double batch. And then I'm gonna do half an ounce, essentially two ounces of simple syrup. And then our bourbon. So you're gonna do two ounces of this. So. That's the Costco maker's mark. It sure is. This one, I'm just gonna kinda do a little heavier. Ooh, there we go. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> now, be careful. Whenever you shake Get eggs, wild. Uh, they kind of have the tendency of, of holding like pressure in the shaker. Oh, so, and they fly off and they hit the ceiling? <laughs> I've had this like pop off hit me on in me the before. Face. It would. <laughs> so you're gonna shake it for 30 count. All right, for a 30 count, pardon me, but keep a towel nearby just in case. 30 what? 30 what count. is it for 30? 30. 30, 20, 50, 60, 70, 90, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, it All smells right. good. It smells delicious. So Woo! we're gonna shake it with the ice now. So it's gonna be shaking. I told you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> That's not even tasty. <laughs> Holy shit. That was actually phenomenal. All right. So this one you're gonna want to double strain because you obviously have fresh citrus and the egg white in there. So. Woo. <laughs> Pardon me. That was a highlight right there. I know. That was great. Oh, it's thick. Is it supposed to be thick like that? Well, it's gonna be good. It's gonna froth up. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. I've never had one, so I, I don't even know. Doo -doo -doo -doo. What do you do with the leftover? Like. Shake it out. Shake it out. So if you have a, a stirring spoon, I kind of just like move it around to go through the little holes in the mm. strainer and it lightly. That smells really good. It's frothy. How much Diet Coke goes in there? None. Let's see these. Let's see these up close, up top. Yeah, it should definitely be a little bit frothier. But that's okay. Next time. I'm going to do some. Ooh. Fancy. Whoa, cool. And then you just do. Oh. I thought you were going to make a face. Is this like Starbucks? Yeah, it should definitely be frothier. I think um, I think my, my chemistry with my <laughs> cocktail making did not necessarily go as, uh, as I planned. But hey, it's okay. Are you supposed to strain it? You're supposed to strain it, yeah. Okay. It's going to be delicious. All right. Cheers. That's good. Mm-hmm. That is really good. It's definitely sour. What is, what's up, everyone? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Words. Let's try it again. What is everyone up to tonight? We got Barley over there on the couch. Max Surprisingly, is over here. Max is over here. 
we're gonna get to going on this tuna. Cocktail. Well, oh yeah, cocktail. That too. Oh my god, it's in my hair. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> Well, don't mind me. I'm going to get the rice going. <laughs> so for the rice, actually, um, that takes about, once it starts boiling, 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Actually. Has we, anybody ever made sticky rice before? I guess that's a What we didn't do, are we We're gonna? Are we going to roast? I forget, we're roasting this stuff, right? So we got to yes. start the big oven. So preheat the oven to what? 400. 400. 5 million. Not 5 million. Anytime I start the oven, I do it to 5 million. He does it to Kale's uh, shiggity. That's the proper proper temperature. Is it really? Yeah. You're silly. Okay. What am I doing? I don't know what you're doing. You're getting the water ready and the stove ready. I want this to go fast. <laughs> go fast. Go, go, go. <laughs> we can make the sauce. No, not yet. Not yet, she says. Not yet. I think what is important that we do is, sorry, that we have a sip of cocktail. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. To the weekend, Valentine's Day. I definitely think I should shake this more. Think so? Yeah. It's a little. Okay. Dump it in there. We're shaking it more. We're shaking it. If you don't shake it hard enough, it's going to... <laughs> it did that already. Be careful. You guys are scared. But yeah. if you if you don't like if you strain it, you're not getting any of the frothy. You're supposed to strain it, yeah. Really? Yeah. But then you don't get any of the froth with it. It's okay. We're experimenting here. I'm just, my, my whiskey sours are just kind of crappy then. I'm sorry, y'all. You got to. Mm. No, it tastes really good. Does it taste better? Yeah, that tastes much better. Really? It tastes much frothier. Mm -hmm. right. I think we're almost done with this. I want to try one. Okay, but shake the egg first. Let's do that. No, really? Yeah, shake the egg first by itself. Nothing else. I probably shouldn't have shaken it up with the citrus now that I'm thinking about it. I shouldn't have combined all the ingredients. But that's okay. I'm trying this, guys. Okay. So shake, shake all the... So just shake this. Shake the With eggs. ice? No, dry. Always shake it dry. It's wet though. Without ice. It's silly. All right, hold it tight. Shake it hard. If that pops out and hits me, I'm gonna beat you in the head. Okay. Is that good? Let me see. Shake it more. Oh God, I'm tired. I worked out already this morning. <laughs> Kale kicked butt today, y'all. He did uh, six sets of, uh, or six reps of uh, 215 pounds of a deadlift. Bravo. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, looks great. Okay. All right, so how much citrus? <sighs> Three quarters. So what is math? So this is one ounce. So, yeah, about like that. Three quarters? But if this is for one, so we're doing two. That's there we a go. lot of lime. I thought it was lemon. Or a lot of, I mean, I'm Mexican. You are? <laughs> I say lime when I mean Oh, lemon. spilled. Okay, so that's two. Mm-hmm. Kayla is such a good two? shaker. I know. Who said that? <laughs> Audio tweaker. <laughs> I ain't going to choking him. <laughs> so half, so one full, simple. So you know, maybe do the, the, you know, we'll do the bitters later. Cool. All right, let's grab you some ice. I'm gonna do bitters in it. No, no, don't do it yet. Okay, I'm not doing it yet, guys. I'm not doing it yet. You just did it, didn't you? No, I didn't do it. You did it. I didn't do it. You guys, tell me if you did it. Why not <laughs> save the egg yolk? Where am I gonna, where am I gonna save it? In a little jar? I guess you could. You could, you Ooh, could. Ooh, we could make like stir fry, like a cholesterol. Yeah, I guess you could, you could save the egg yolk. 
Cool. I'm terrible. All right, terrible. be careful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen. All right, stop. Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-seven, you know thirty. You're, 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 you're watering it down. <laughs> Our chemistry is really great here. <laughs> so times are all off. Okay. Oh yeah, that looks beautiful. Okay. Do I slam it? You don't have to. Kill. No, I mean. I want some of the froth in there. Okay. It's gonna float up. Promise. Okay. She promises. Oh yeah, see, it's floating up. Great. So there's a cool little trick. Actually, I kind of want you to get a zoom in this. Okay, I'm getting a zoom in this. Let me see. All right. Wait, hold on. Let me get the zoom in this. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, it is frothing up. And then... Ooh, ooh, fancy. There you yes. Go. You did a much better froth, lovey. It's my shaking skills from working out. Yeah, shaking skills. Wow. Look at that. And you that's guys, what it was supposed to look like the first time. You guys see that? <laughs> I appreciate it. And your then patience. if you look at like how it floats up, it's really pretty. And they're really yes. good. Yes. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. right. Cheers. You, what is it? When Jasmine was shaking, it sounded like a can of spray paint. Brian just says, whoa. Do you want the frothier one? I'll take whichever one. I know you want the frothier one. OK, cheers. You just like it because I didn't strain this one. You didn't want to drink that one. Oh, my god. Yeah, You guys, we did. OK, the show can go on now. <laughs> We did yeah. successful drink. The show can go on. <laughs> what were we doing? Cooking. Cooking. Shiggity diggity. She's using my words, you guys. <laughs> well, he, I, I just inhaled a, a bourbon cocktail in a matter of five minutes, so yes. Okay, so we're going to get the veggies going because those take a little bit longer. Yes. Uh, broccoli's ready to go because someone at Costco chopped it for us <laughs> uh, today. Yes, they're amazing. The baby bok. Bok oh. choy. What are you doing? The screen is not zoomed, love. Oh, yeah. You guys, you can't even see what I'm talking about. Huh? Where is it? Terrible. Wait, so. what's our drinking word? Yeah, what is it? Pizza? I think y'all need to finish those and try one more time. <laughs> Take another sip, says Tim. All right, 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 all right. What's our word? Wait, I have an idea. Let's let's, let's make a word. Um, let's make an announcement today. No, we'll, we'll make another word. Another one? Let's, uh, what's the word? Heart. Heart. Because Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Cheers, all. There we go. Mm. That's amazing. Yep, that's really like refreshing. It's a good summer drink, too. It's Friday, after all. It is Friday. I mean, it is Friday. So for these, we're just going to try to shop them in half. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Yeah. You see how pretty they are, though? Like, I think that's the coolest part. If you look in close, everyone, you see how it kind of like the line. This is it? where the bok lives. The rest is the choy. The bok lives on the inside. No, it does not. <laughs> That's what it means. No, silly boy. It's the house for the. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Those are done. Okay, so we're going to lay them flat like this. And I will alternate like that. Oh, I get it because of the. It's like a Lego. No, not Lego. Tetris. It's Tetris. <laughs> it's Tetris. Sure. Oh, I feel that now. What the this, bourbon? This drink. I know. We had it kind of fast. Did we just slam one? We did. It was like a shot of bourbon <laughs> straight to the dome. So I fan them and I alternate them so they don't over. It's like an even cook essentially. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to garnish it with some sesame oil. Oh, other side. Sesame oil to get that nice sesame taste that we love. And also, cool thing, sesame has a high uh, frying point. So if you cook it at a high temp, it's not gonna smoke, smoke up or anything like that. Okay, but this so is very easy. You notice that we put parchment paper underneath here so it will not stick. And now I'm just gonna salt and pepper it. 
That doesn't count, Odd Tweaker. You have to type heart. But I'm, I'm gonna count. I'm gonna count it this one time. Okay, fine. It counts. I decided right now. Oh my god! I, I love... had this conversation with myself. You I... can type a heart in the chat, or you can type out heart. I love the smell of freaking sesame. Oh, it smells so good. All right, and then that's it. What is a sesame, though? Sesame. It's a seed. Yeah, but what does it grow? That's a very great question. Who's gonna Google this for us? What does a sesame seed grow? Someone, quick. Google, please. And while you're Googling, I'm going to show you how we do the broccoli. <laughs> Alright, so this is very, very, very... Just be careful, because it goes by really quick. So, <laughs> it's just... And then, that's your broccoli. <laughs> and then, if you really want, you can make them like a little forest. But usually you just... Wait, no, make a forest. I want to see. All right, make so... a town. This is the village. This is what we call Greendale Village. <laughs> Could we do broccoli hinge? Yeah, like we did with the cheese. Broccoli hinge. I'm like down. one on top. Do you no, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. <laughs> Can I support you? No. Should we cut these in half, maybe? Because the bok choy is so thin. Okay, well, you guys, we're gonna cut these in half. I'm gonna assist though. I got this. Yeah. Okay. I will. Uh, I will just chill here. Chilling. We'll cut a few of them in half. Just chilling. Oh. There. <laughs> Perfect. You know what? Flower. You know, flower. Flower. What does yeah. that mean? That's not the word, you silly. Are you gonna oil this? Yeah, I'm Wait, getting... we, we should cut this one too. Can I? Sure. May I? I'm just gonna oil this one with olive oil. Yeah. Cause we're gonna put some really good sauces on here, which I'm super excited to make because sometimes sauces you could save in the fridge and then just go back to them later on. And then salt and pepper. Kale does this for dinner all the time. And you'll grill it too, right? Oh. Oh yeah, grilled. Grilled any veggies is honestly amazing. We did grilled broccoli the other day. Or no, this was a few months ago, right? And so this is going to go in. So good. Will so, you assist? Oh, yeah. So you're going to do the broccoli first, right? Yeah, because the broccoli takes a little bit longer. And then we'll put the bok choy in. And then, you know what? Let's work on that um, sweet sesame sauce. How do you feel about that? The Which sweet. has seeds? Oh, a flower. Wait, what? Oh, sesame seeds have, a, it comes from a flower. Is it also has pods with seeds. What kind of, it makes a, a sesame flower or what? Hmm. I don't know, I'm curious. We'll have to look it up later. Yeah. Okay. So time for our sweet chili sauce. Yes, and are we going to just the... I'm going to show everyone my spoon trick. Oh, this is a good trick, you guys. Ready? All right, so this is how you peel a ginger. So I learned this trick when I was working um, at Kona Grill because we went through an abundance of ginger. So you just grab a little nugget, right? And you grab a spoon. This is like the neat thing about it. And you honestly just peel the flesh back. You don't even have to get a peeler and it just kind of comes off like that. It's like peeling a scab. I know it sounds gross, but the cool thing is because ginger's already kind of grooved, you don't have to worry about um, missing any corners or having a lot of skin that's like untouchable. Brian says, yes, it's a sesame plant. Not very exciting. Oh, well, that's kind of cool though. I mean, it's good to know. It yeah. smells delicious, tastes good. And now we know. So you could see how it comes off. You could tell also too, like ginger's also very fibrous. It has a lot of string in it, kind of like a celery. And celery is one of our favorite vegetables. Actually, we loathe it. Yeah, Unless it's in a tuna salad or chicken salad. <laughs> yeah. And it has to be minced up very, very fine. So whenever I make it, it's very, very tiny. Fun fact too, uh, ginger's great for colds. And, and it's also good for your stomach. Immune boosters and all that jazz. May I toss this? But the smell of it, oh. Oh, it smells so good. And honestly, I love it in a juice. Yeah. And you can do a shot of ginger. There was this place. Um, there is this place in Milwaukee. It's at the Sherman Phoenix now. It's called the Juice Kitchen, or it's called Shindig now. But they do a um, just straight up juiced ginger root, and it is fire. But your face starts tingling, and you, you honestly, if you feel great from it, even though it sounds like you're doing acid. It's it's it hurts. <laughs> So I sliced it up really thin um, and I'm kind of cutting it into thinner strips because 
because the ginger is so fibrous and so stringy, you want to make sure you don't get those chunks in your food because then it's not very good. Sometimes you'll see people, and this is a nice little trick too, if you cut, if you get a, a ginger and it's a big chunk of it, but it's long, you could just cut strings of it and cook it down and you're basically extracting all that juices and the deliciousness out of it and you can take those, um, those stems out, kind of like when you cook with bay leaves. Bay leaves. Bay leaves. I was like, bay leaves? You cook with bay leaves? So I'm just trying to dice it up really, really tiny. Um, be careful for your mittens. My mittens are not over here. <laughs> oh, you mean fingers. Your fingertips. I was going to try to see if we should cut this on the mandolin, if we can get Jeff all worried again. Oh, no. <laughs> this is a little guy. And then now I'm going to just rock back and forth. Both of the dogs, you guys, don't look now. But both, look now. Both of the dogs are just watching out the window. <laughs> oh, the cute little babies. I don't know what they're looking at. Their shadows. But they're both looking out the window. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. This is the closest they have been together without growling. Oh, Barley noticed me. Shit. Shit. Hide. Cover. Oh, he's smiling though. <laughs> so everyone, I've been dog sitting for my parents because they're out in Florida, um, enjoying their life, you know, chilling, hanging out. And uh, well, we took care of Max. Is Brian the director? No, the director, we have a squirrel that sits on this little mini keyboard right here and he jumps from button to button. Wait, what are we talking about? <laughs> what am I missing Wait, here? Wait, who's the second dog? The second dog oh, is Max. Oh, Maximilian, as Kale would call him. That's Max and that's Jasmine's parents' dog. Hi, Max, say hi to the camera and his Barley and they're both there. Uh-oh, we gotta give them a treat now because you got, them, got their attention. I'm just cutting up ginger. This is not very exciting. Okay, we can give them a treat. This is a process because you just got to chop, 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 chop until it's nice and fine. All right. All righty. I'll get them a treat. I don't know if you guys noticed too, by the way, when I'm cutting this up, I'm like just running the blade through it. And I'm also cleaning the blade after I go through a cycle. So I start from one end and I go down. For Barley? And for Max? But then I accumulate, so I clean it off, scoop it into a line, and just go again. So you don't have any big mis miscellaneous chunks hanging in there. And then, that's it. So, we have an abundance. May I get a, 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 a souffle dish, please? No. Yes. I can't reach the, sou the souffle dishes, so it helps me. So I just scoop them in. Bloop, bloop. We got a lot here now. We're going to definitely have... I want a rest. treat. What do you want? We got tons of treats. We got lots of adult treats. I kind of want a potato chip right now. We I got like this that. one. This is adult treat. <laughs> and... This is what we're... If you're just joining us, we're drinking whiskey sours. Which, you can still kind of see the amazing detailing in, in this. Oh, the cocktail. Yeah. Look at that spinny. Zoom Come it down. On. Mm. Yeah, no, I need, I need to do this. There you go. Look at that. You see how the egg kind of like hangs on top of the, yeah. like on the side of the, the glass? Super cool. Heart, dog. Oh, you wanted a dog ah, treat. Ah, dog treat. You don't want a dog treat. <laughs> don't be silly. Okay, so more to do. So I decided to, um, I know we've been using our Costco garlic, but I figured it'd be kind of fun to cook with actually fresh garlic. So I'm gonna peel off the skin right now, kind of making a mess, but all good. You can't see it. Oh, there you go. And so you could either hit, use it with your palm. Brian says heart. Oh yeah, I just I just said heart. You I'll, did? Yeah, but I'll do another one. Oh. Yay. Cheers. Mm. Barley is now barking at the window. Uh oh. So I'm gonna grab the, the garlic and I'm gonna either Hit I've never heard of whiskey sours having eggs. Yeah, whiskey yeah. sour traditionally has an egg white in it. Versus having like sour mix where it can be super yeah. tart and it kind of hurts yeah. your teeth. And you got to get the frothiness to it. So I broke some garlic and they kind of just fell apart. So this is when this tool is really close. It kind of cleans up your mess. Scoop off. 
And then I'm going to grab my knife and press. I actually did. There you go. Camera. Press. And Barley, you stop, okay? The shells start to come off. Ta-da! Oh, yeah, she's a pretty one. Should we mandolin them? Uh, we can. No. Yeah. It replaces the, yeah, there's no sour mix in this at all. So we can go we, over the ingredients again. We basically make our own sour mix. Bourbon, lemon juice, yeah. simple syrup, and ango. And egg. And egg. But the key thing is you make your own, you make your own sour mix by mixing the simple and the lemon juice together. Um, which I feel like a lot of people don't know that, um, which is actually really cool because sour mix is that tartness. So you, have, you obviously have more of that lemon juice in there versus the simple. The simple just kind of helps cut back that like, so just keep that in mind. You always have those ingredients at home versus buying a big batch of sour mix. Anyways. Isn't the raw egg potentially bad like eating raw cookie dough? Not really. I have never gotten sick from eating raw cookie dough. Tell me someone who has. I'm waiting. <laughs> I told you, nobody, ever. So I re-smashed the, the garlic again after peeling it, and I cut off the butts, the <laughs> little, little dry ends, right? But, dry butt. And now I'm going to get it with my knife and kind of- Get it, get it. Make lines on it through the long waves. Why are you peeling garlic when you have a gallon of garlic on the counter? <laughs> Cause because sometimes you want some fresh garlic, all right? I mean, it's still fresh, but this there's something about I like that idea. The sour mix is too damn tart. Turned me off a long time ago. Yeah, you should try it. Try it. Honestly, it, it'll change your life. It's like making homemade lemonade. You, 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 you ought to do it versus buying it. What do you mean by me? I, see, I, I say things, I ask questions, and then I forget what I said, so we must have asked the question, Van Chase said, me, psych. So now I don't remember what, what I said. So, I what? use maple syrup instead of simple. Yeah, it's that's good, but it, you if you want the maple flavor. Maple has like this, that, like that depth to it. Um, yeah. We, I mean, we use agave a lot yeah. too. Agave is awesome. It's a little bit healthier, but um, it's only, I feel like preferably we do it with like mezcal or tequila cocktails. Okay, cool. So I have a little garlic ginger blend shiggity right here. I forget too, LOL. Yeah, I forget, I, I got bad brain. So I'm gonna start cooking this down a little bit if you wanna. Yeah, so. Oh, you know what, let me grab my little, I, can, I guess I can use this pan. So we're gonna- Which one are you gonna use? I'm gonna use, Did wait, did we start the water? No. Should we do that? Yeah, we should. Let me put the, the, the rice in. <laughs> so we're gonna do... Um, Hang tight. For rice, we have one cup of rice, jasmine rice. The broccoli's almost done. I'm gonna put the bok choy in all. Okay. Or wait, how long does the rice take? Well, once it starts boiling, 15 minutes. All right, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna just kind of lower this oven. One cup of rice, and I've got two cups of water. Here's my water. And we're just gonna kind of throw this on um, the stove. <clears throat> we're gonna blast it. So the reason why he puts the rice and the water in together is because that's how you make sticky rice. And our goal is to make it sticky so we can mold it together. I'm just keeping it warm because the, the broccoli's almost done. You don't wanna cook the well, this, that's going to take us like oh, okay. 10 minutes because it's okay. so thin. Okay. I didn't hear that part. No, so no, we're no. cooking the rice. What I could do is I could do the, uh, our ginger and garlic shiggity at a very low temp. So I'm going to olive oil this pan kind of like heavily because I don't want this to burn. I'm kind of frying it but at a low temperature. It's to kind of get, just extract the flavor of our ginger and garlic in here. So I'm gonna wait till that gets hot and then I'll dump everything together. In the meantime, let's do our sesame, right? Yes. Yay. So. Let me clean my mess up here because it's just like. Our tunas, which you see, 
look like hearts ish because valentine's day <laughs> and we are going to do like a sesame crust so basically what how we do that is we dump out a bunch of sesame seed but tell them what we did before this why did we leave it out on the counter we leave it out a little bit uh so obviously so it can thaw because we bought these frozen we also want to get it to warm up just a little bit because when you cook a, the way that we're cooking these they are going to cook very quickly and it's going to kind of sear it so the outer edge is going to be really nice and toasty and the inside is going to be raw still so you don't want it too cold because the inside is still going to be be cold so you let yeah, it out kinda, just a little bit it's kind of like cooking a steak you let the, your steaks like sit out to, on the counter warm up kind of get to that that ambient temp so when you sear it it just kind of flashes it like a microwave but you still get that nice crust in the end without having to wait for it to cook longer for it to get to temp there's nothing worse when you bite into something and it's like kind of fleshy and still cold. hot and cold hot and cold yeah so we have our ahi tuna steaks we've got our hearts we got our sesame seed so he kind of puts a lot but he also one thing to all um we dry them out with paper towels because we want to make sure that we pull out any sort of extra moisture, like that crap we don't need. Where did you get the ahi steaks from? We got them from Sendix. Sendix. Mm -hmm. And they're frozen. Um, probably f flash frozen straight from after they've been cut from. Yeah, they're, and I want to remind everyone, there's nothing wrong with getting frozen seafood, especially because while we live in the Midwest, um, they got it down to a science where like, if you buy something that has to travel within 24 hours, sometimes the fish is going to get to shit or it takes a couple of days. So what they do is they'll harvest the fish, they'll kill it, or what they'll do is they'll put it in and freeze it right away, that flash freeze, so it doesn't have any time for the meat to actually depreciate and lose the quality of it. They'll bring it back, butcher yeah, it. Yeah, so whatever it is, then, if you're getting a whole fish, it's flash frozen, They'll yeah. otherwise they'll butcher it, flash freeze it, package it up and send it off. And so boom. it's only frozen once. So read that on your ingredients, flash froze, if it has any chemicals or solution added to it, this one's good to go. So I usually just take a little olive oil and just kind of coat them. Because uh, it needs something like a binding, like a little something for the... For them to touch. So the, like sesame the sesame to stick to. It, right? Yeah. Cool. Look at that oil. It looks so pretty. And then you just, it's kind of like French toast. And you just bloop. And you just coat all the sides as much as you can. It looks so pretty. We also went to, um, where was it? Uh, Empire Fish. That's where we got our oysters from and our shrimp cocktail. And holy crap, everyone. Their seafood there is so amazing. We made, when we made our uh, ceviche with the mahi, the quality of their fish is so on point. I like literally, I recommend it to everyone. It's worth a drive. Just go over there. They have everything. They have oysters, they have whole fish, they have butchered fish, they have smoked fish, they have caviar, um, they have king crab legs. I don't mind the caviar. But they literally have everything. So like, and they even have like sushi grade products where like you can go in there and make your own sushi at home, which I totally think we should do. We've never done that before. Yeah, we're, think, we're planning <laughs> on doing kind of like a tuna tartare one episode. So it's, it's basically, it's just raw tuna like this, but sushi grade. We do it with a little avocado, onion, cucumber. Our friends can attest to it's, it. It's amazing. And, <laughs> and you, you get the wonton wrappers oh, and so we good. make like chips to go with them. So you take the wonton wrapper and you kind of make a little bowl or a little fun little chip to stick on. It, it turns it's out delicious. amazing, actually. It's absolutely, yeah. We'll have to do that next. I'm gonna say heart, because nobody said heart in a while. Heart. Um, let's do the the oil sauce. So this is a process. You don't feel Empire Fish is overpriced? I mean, not necessarily. Not really, not for, not for oysters. Oysters were on point. Um, not for the quality, The shrimp too. was... And everything is overpriced now, but um, inflation sucks. But no, I, for the quality you're getting from them. I think too, like you got the other place to go. I'm sorry, it's uh, St. Paul Fish Company. Did you say that? No, I did not. Da, uh, public Market. I was gonna say like kind of compare it to like you, when okay, this is boiling. I'm sorry. All good. When you're going to the store and you're getting beef, like compare it to that. Fish and beef, they're very like neck and neck with like how expensive they are nowadays. So like 
yeah, you're probably going to get a whole fish, a whole snapper, and it's going to be $16.99. But, like, the quality of it is going to be so different versus getting it from even, like, a regular grocery store. So, um, I don't know. I think... Oh, that's the issue. So, boiling. this... I turned it off, but it's boiling. Um, it's going to just kind of... Slow down. Chill and do its thing once the stove chills out. I'm going to let him out real quick. Barley wants to go outside. I'm going to let him out. I'm going to just crack the door so they can't hang out over there. I'm going to just put that on there for a sec while this chills out. Jazz is letting Barley out. We don't want our, our rice to boil over. There you go, guys. You can poke in and out. So the rice is getting going. How much time do you think we have on the veggies? Um, not too long. The rice, you think it's almost done? Did you put, you said you were putting the bok choy in, didn't you? I, did, I didn't do it yet, but I will. Okay, cool. What I'm going to start focusing on is our chili sauce. So I'm going to do, you want to scoop it in over here? Yes, one sec. I am putting that ginger and, oh, oh sorry. Oh, shit, that was hot. Uh-oh. Burn myself. Um, I'm going to put the ginger and the uh, garlic mix in there. And I'm not putting that much. There you go. And remember your oil, keep it low because you don't want to burn it. You're just trying to toast it up. This is a very quick process. So what I like to do is I just kind of like to stir and turn. That's why, do this with a non-stick pan, because you'll really screw up a pan. <laughs> you see how it's kind of turning a little golden brown color already? So just doo -doo -doo -doo. And now I'm also going to add, because we like a little heat, just a little paprika. And stir it in. Ooh, and chili flake, right? Um, chili, well, we're going to add sambal, so the chili flakes oh, are Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you do want to mince up some cilantro and green onions right now. Yeah. I think that would be awesome. This literally smells so freaking good. I want to eat it now. But it doesn't even have all the ingredients in it. Like, holy crap. Like, look at this, guys. This is like toasty ginger garlic goodness. I'm going to chop up cilantro while Jasmine's talking about that. You guys are going to love this. Like, I, I wish I can send this in a box to you all. And you can have it for dinner right now. Like, no kidding. I love the smell. I miss the smell. It's like my favorite. Oh. All right. So she's toasting up. And while we get this going, um, I am going to start getting the cold ingredients together because this is, you don't want to mix them all at once and I'll show you why. So I'm going to lower this all the way down to super, 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 super low. This is why I love this stove and these pots and pans. They're amazing. So I'm going to move. You guys can actually look at that. It, it looks really pretty well. It mixes up together. So now I'm going to grab all our little miscellaneous ingredients. And that's going to be sambal. Everyone should have this in their house. It's amazing. Yeah, it goes in everything. Uh, it's like ketchup. Sweet chili sauce. This is our way of cheating. <laughs> <laughs> and making our own May Ploy. May Ploy is amazing. You can find it everywhere. And then, because I wouldn't really always put sriracha in it, but Kale loves his heat, so we're going to add some sriracha into it. So, I am going to do... Oops, has some water in it. I'm going to dump... Oh, yeah, I'll use a fresh bowl. So, what we're going to do is... I like the pan the sauce is cooking in. We love these. They are um, the... Cuisine art. Cuisinart. Cuis Mm -hmm. They weren't crazy expensive. Um, Bed Bath & Beyond coupon, it was great. Yeah, but they're all stainless steel, so you got to be careful. But they, we haven't had an issue with them. You keep barkeeper's hand, uh, barkeeper's friend on hand. And seriously, amazing. barkeeper's friend, this stuff with your stainless steel. Chemicals over the food. best. Be careful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to grab a tablespoon of sambal, right? Yes. We're going to grab 
three tablespoons of sh sweet chili sauce. And essentially I'm doing three to one because the sambal is gonna be spicy and the sriracha is spicy. So add that in there. Right guy, what up? You have those too? Dude, uh, if you're talking about the pans, we <laughs> love them. They're amazing. <laughs> now, one thing I'm gonna do, you could either do one or two things. You can add just a little bit of sesame oil or you can just use regular oil. I'm gonna do a half a Ooh, teaspoon that's up. of sesame oil, right? And then I'm gonna add a little green onion to this mix, okay? And then... Marla has things to say. We're gonna grab this hot pan of sizzling ginger, garlic, olive oil, and we're gonna put it in here. May I get a spatula, please? Pardon me. Yes. Where's the Star Wars one? I found it. Here you go. Thanks, lovey. And then, bloop, bloop, bloop. All right. Look at that, look at that. Oh my God, so good. Cool. You know what, uh, we can rinse that because we gotta make another sauce. And then you just do this, you mix it up. And this is the garnish for the rice. It's Connolly posing as Rye Guy. What's up? Hey! Sambal, sriracha in the same dish. Wow, that's some heat. I know. We like it spicy. Sambal? Yeah, but sambal's not that spicy. It's really more garlicky. It's okay, it's spicy. But sriracha, <laughs> I've, I've come to find that sriracha is way spicier for me now. Oh, yeah. That's so freaking good. Yep. Oh! Yummy. Yummy in my tummy. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Okay, now the next sauce we're gonna make is our shoyu cream. So the shoyu cream is kind of a process. What we're gonna do is show me. Ha! Oh, we have we're gonna it. show you. We'll show you. So show shoyu is uh, you in get Japanese it? terms, it's um, a soy cream sauce. And I, I'm totally stealing this for my last job. No, my last job, my, my secondary uh, job, the restaurant that I worked at for almost seven years, um, had the best sushi in the neighborhood. I miss it so much, it was so good. But this sauce, it's honestly three ingredients. Soy sauce, cornstarch, and heavy cream. <laughs> it is so simple, but it's so delicious that honestly, you guys can make it for anything. You can put it on your mashed potatoes, you can put it on your chicken, you can put it on any vegetables. It's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now- I'm giving Barley treats because he's barking. Make them happy. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get my pan hot. And you notice I have a little bowl off to the side. Oop, sorry, bowl off to the side. Because I'm gonna add paprika because again, heat. You don't have to do paprika. That's why I said three ingredients. Cornstarch, soy sauce, and heavy cream. That really? sauce I can almost smell it from here. It's so, it was, it's amazing. It's so good, right? <laughs> so this one's kind of more of an eyeballer, but I will do measurements for you all just to kind of, so you can take note of it. So what I'm going to start off with first is a half a quarter cup. And Wait, what? I know. A half a quarter cup. Well, because we don't really need that much. No, wait. So it's a third of a cup. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wait. Or a fourth of a cup. That's a quarter cup. Or wait, this is a half a cup. Half of a half a cup. Half of a half a cup. Oh, half of my a God. half a cup, a quarter cup. So <laughs> half of a half a cup, pardon me. Half of a half a cup of a half a cup. Half of a half a cup for a half a cup. Oh my God, say that 10 times. And- 14 teen. 14 teen, 15. I'm gonna keep right. this camera up because I like to- I'm gonna do a third of a tablespoon because I can see now this is bubbling. That's the perfect time to start adding your cornstarch in. Woo, that is sour. So it doesn't thicken up. It's good or though. Or it doesn't clump up. But you could see, great. It's breaking up really, really easily. Let me just, I'm a righty all, sorry. This is gonna kind of fudge up the camera. Ooh, that smells good, you guys. 
Barley, what's going on, dude? Now this time, this is when I just start adding more soy sauce to it, so you don't get those, you gotta get those lumps out. Nobody like lumpy sauces. Unless it's supposed to be lumpy. So tilting it on the side and just whisking it up. Ooh, yeah. What's the lumpy part? That's the starch. Oh, the cornstarch. I, I need the other whisk. The other whisk is better. This one sucks. Sometimes do you make a, like a roux with it? Or do you do you put it put it with um, water first so it's a liquid? You could do that. I don't know why. I've always done it like this because really? it's like if like you're making a gravy. Every time I've done gravy, I've done you make like a, a cornstarch liquid first. Yeah, I mean, again, you could do it that way too. I think he has to poop. I think he might have to poop. So just stir it up, stir it up, stir it up. Yeah, get those lumpies out. So you can see how it's like thickening up. Oh yeah, that looks good. Oh yeah. I think I am having a malfunction with my sauce. Today I'm not winning it today with the drinks and the, the kitchen. It looks good. It looks a little lumpy still. Barley's really got stuff to say right now. He's just not a happy camper. I'm gonna make another whiskey sour. Good idea. So, whiskey sour, if we don't remember, I'm gonna rinse this guy out. We're gonna do our egg yolk, not yolk, egg white, first, and we're gonna shake that up. And then we're, we're gonna save it in the garbage. Well, which one did I have here? Five, six, no, five, sorry guys. Okay, we'll shake up the egg first. So it's nice and frothy. There we go. Let's see. I added more soy sauce, everyone. Jasmine's on sauce duty. I'm on drink duty because it's heart time. Oh, oh shit. shit. Did you not break that? <laughs> Sweet baby Jesus. That's because this is a thick one. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. It's. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Chi Chi's Christ. Can't wait to watch that back later. <laughs> Let's see how this is. All right. I'm gonna add some heavy That's cream. That's kind of frothy. Uh, can you see in there? Yeah. So now we're gonna add all the rest of the business. So for two, it's gonna be four ounces of bourbon. Four ounces of bourbon, Maker's Mark, the best one in the world. One and a half lemon. One ounce of simple. And then we'll shake it again with ice this time. Hey. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Ooh, that's a big chunky. I don't want to do that one. We'll do these three. We do these three. We'll shake this up now. Whoa. Three, four, five, six. Did you shake seven, it dry yet? Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yes, I did. I think you missed the sample, the bourbon, to make sure it's still good. Thick glass. <laughs> no, that's awesome. Make one for me too. All right, I got you. Um, 
Yeah, I I shook it dry, which is really wet because it's it's a I wet. I know the science. It, the word is dumb. I get this off. Here we go. And we're gonna strain it because that's what Jess says. Thanks, love. Can You're I have your best. glass? Oh, it's over here. I want to finish this one off. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's salty, but just be mindful. Oh, yeah. It's good, right? Okay, there we go. We got that. Mm. Jasmine can have another one after that glass tip. Kale's cut off. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. Okay, so I'm going to do the oh, little... Oh, do the angle. So do it lightly, lovey. I'm going to do the bloop, bloop, bloop. So, one. Do it in a circle, kind of. I'm going to do my own. Make a smiley face. No. Oh! oh rad diggity dog. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, you guys, I suck at this. Wait, do do a zoom in the sauce, lovey. Zoom in the sauce, okay. Here's the sauce while I destroy the art of this. I added some cream, and you whisk it up, and you see how good that looks? Woo! Where's the stir stick? The stir stick is right here, in your face. Oh, it's right here. Okay. <laughs> I was going to do a triangle on this one. Oh, that looks kind of cool. Yeah. That there also looks kind of cool. Yeah, zoom we in. Got... Let's see. You can do whatever design you want. Aw, pretty. That looks like a Christmas tree. That looks like um, some stuff you see at the art museum. That's yeah, cool. it's, it's fancy. It's art. <laughs> she thinks this camera's on right now. Oh, I could just see your face. <laughs> that was fun. Okay, now let's cheers. Cheers. To us. And to Tuna. And to the dogs who are growling. Oh. That's really good. Sweet baby Jesus. We did it, guys. All right, well, let's let him in here. He's going to lose his bananas. Come on, dude. What do you want? All right. Okay, the sauce is boiling. Do we need this boiling? Oh, no, no, no. Turn it off. Sauce goes off. Um, the rice is getting there. Um, if you want to take a peek at the rice. I'm going to leave that in there. Oh, the rice looks great. The rice is doing its thing. It's super sticky, and that's the key thing all. It, it's supposed to look like that. You're not supposed to stir it or do any zhuzh to it. Can I check it? No, I think, no, I think we're okay. Just leave it? Okay, yeah. cool. Cool, cool, cool. Now time to scorch some friggin' tuna. Yummy. All right, so I'm I'm gonna turn this on hot. What's hot? Hi. 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 I'm gonna turn it on five bajillion D. Five bajillion D. Here we coming. And we're gonna get um get going. We've got the veggies almost done. We got the pan going. We got the tuna crusted and ready to go. So the key thing too, when you're making this love, right? You want to have like a super hot, hot pan. Super hot because you're going to cook it for a minute on each side. Literally one minute. Put a timer on. You don't want to make it too complicated, but literally put a timer on. <laughs> so we are going to wash this pan. We're going to see how it's doing. You just, you touch it to see how it's hot. That's you how could, you, you just you, touch it. You could throw something on it and see if no, it's No, you just touch it. Bounce back at you. And if it burns, then it's hot and ready. it's ready to go. Like, I, I totally burnt my hand. Did you really? I burnt my arm, yeah. I got a little sear on my skin. I have so many burns from cooking on my hands. It's okay. That makes, that gives character. It gives us stories. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go with that. <laughs> Is that what you call it? <laughs> I like this triangle one, you guys. Honestly, I'm so glad you like whiskey sours. Look at this triangle one. It's like, uh, what is that drink? Uh, Pisco sours. Oh my god. Pisco liqueur. Like I thought it's it was Pisco. Common... P or Pisco. Pisco. I say Pisco. <laughs> it's a lower proof of alcohol, but they're really good. Oh my god, so good. 
And they have, um, they're common, I think, in Spain. Spain is known to have like uh, different types of piscos. Pisco. And uh, same concept, you do the same setup. And it, it's nice because you can just kind of drink them all day and you won't get like, woohoo! So once this gets five bajillion, <laughs> I'm gonna turn on the the fan because it it's, it's gonna get smoky and hot. Let's see the... There's no way around it. Oh yeah, our veggies look good, I'm turning this off. Okay, we're turning the oven off. I'm gonna grab my plates because it's gonna be plate in time. Hands. And I'm gonna actually do a little Later bit time. of canola oil for this because very, very high smoke point. Hmm. Which spoon do I want to use for? I'm gonna use this one. Our big boy. That's actually too much. Where can I pour this? No, I think that's good. It's good? Okay. Yeah, trust me. I think it's good. Oh my god, this sauce is okay. so freaking good. We're gonna let that mm. oil heat up. Oh my god, I want to just like eat the sauce by itself. You guys, we're gonna eat this real soon. <laughs> I'm so excited right now. <laughs> like, holy crap! This is a cool thing too, like, this, these dishes are not really, they don't take that long, I think. Yeah. It just takes a little bit longer because we're like messing around, joking, and being silly. Like, woo! How, what do we call the Woo Girls? Woo! Oh my god, from How I Met Your Mother. Woo! It's We've been like, watching How I Met Your Mother a lot because, well, it's mm. amazing. Hearts. Who said hearts? Me. Oh, hearts. Hearts. <laughs> who said hearts? I tell you who say hearts. I don't know why I said that. Well, you just chugged that. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Maybe. I think you took a sip of it. And no, you I didn't. didn't. You didn't tell me. <laughs> Secret. So if you're wondering what we're doing, we're just clearing this area off so we can plate. I make pretty peaches. Ugh. All right. We need to have like that people. That oil's smoking. Grab it. Smoking oil. Okay, the oil. This is ready to go. I'm gonna turn this on. I'm gonna let it cool off just for a second. What I'm uh, gonna can do you is hit three? Three? Yep. Oh yeah. Camera and one. then we are going to cook these. Are you ready for this? You guys, it's gonna be so much fun. Literally. Yeah, we can have another one after this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All those sesame seeds are popping. Pop, 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 but don't put a lid on it because you'll, you'll Steam lose the crispiness it. of it, yeah. I'm just keeping them from popping everywhere. So we got one minute on the clock. I am gonna grab him a plate where he can rest the tuna at. Here you can flip it. It hasn't been a minute. I know. Oh. When it comes to flipping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm gonna take everything else off the it's kind of like popcorn. It is, but it was sesame seeds. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna grab the um. Watch it go. And then I'm gonna grab this one. Okay, one minute. No, we'll flip it. Ah! You guys, it hurts. It hurts so good. <laughs> They're popping everywhere. They're like little mini lava balls. Lava balls. <laughs> oh, the seeds are getting into the, sh the show you cream. Oh. It's okay. The seeds are getting everywhere, let's be serious. Whisk it up. As my boss now, I hope you don't plan to punish me for watching you while I work. Uh -uh. I don't say anything. No words. <laughs> okay, these are done. And I'm gonna plate these onto this so they can rest. You flipped them, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I can see that. They look beautiful. Okay, so Kale is going to let them rest. They look kind of funny as a whole unit. Yeah, you want to watch yourself right behind you. Oh, I got the. There you go. Oops! Pulled that off. It's okay. Okay. So now. 
time. This kind of needs to all happen pretty quick because you don't want these to cool off. So I'm going to do... I'm going to... While Kale is... You want to do the rice balls? You're always really good at that. Yes. So what we do with rice is... Yeah, the things over there. The molds right there. We, um, we kind of make little rice balls. And um, hold on. Let me get my uh, ultra wide here. This will give us a better look. And I actually use a a uh, ice cube form. And you just spray a little like nonstick in, like olive oil. So I just kind of do a little in there. And my lovely fiance hands me the rice. And you scoop it in. And you just kind of form it. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Shit. You I guys. I probably should have done that, but it's okay. And then you have a little ball. You can see right here. That hurt. And then I'll put one ball. You want to put it like? Right there. Oh, God. That hurt. And we'll do another ball. Ah, it hurts again. <laughs> you guys. All right, put it right there. Look at those rice balls. You pan seared the tuna, but you could use the grill too, or that not work the same. It um, depends with the sauce. Yeah. It, it could work. It just it has the grill has to be able to get hot enough, because if if you can't if you can't sear the grill, or if you can't get your grill hot enough that it it really gives it a good like sear. Mm -hmm. then it, it, it won't work as well. Okay, cool. Let's cut these tunas. Okay, now we're going to cut some tuna. Do you want me to cut it or do you want to cut it? Doesn't matter. Here. So I'm going to cut it on an angle. Cut it against the grain. You want to bring a plate over, actually, so I don't have to walk it. Yes. And then I'm going to fan it. I'll leave it like this on there first. Okay. Ooh. Cut the other one. So, rest of the plating, she cut it. And I'm gonna grab some garnish. We're gonna get our garnish ready. We'll get our sauces. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna kind of lay out the, the tuna. So you can see that really beautiful, like pinkish color. Oh yeah, that looks so good. And kind of put it on an angle. And you still got that awesome sesame crust on there. Yeah. And then you grab the And then sweet you burn your hand. It hurts really bad. The sweet chili sauce, I kind of just like drizzle it on top of the tuna and on top of the veggies. That's why we make that like bok choy a bed a little bit. I'm just kind of go like that. Stir up your sauce. Ooh, yeah. Look at that. And then, kind of like mashed potatoes and uh, gravy. This is what, oh. Whoa, watch out now. This is what you get with the shoyu cream. So you put. It does kind of look like a gravy. It does, oh, watch out the liquid mm -hmm. condensation. So you're just gonna grab a little bit of it. Just a little spoon. The hot fudge sundae. 
Oh yeah. And then we're gonna do it on this other one. Watch out, come back. Yep, that looks amazing. And then you'll grab a little greenery, cilantro, and green onions. Mm. Thanks, Jeff. That's, it looks pretty dang good. That's dinner. And that is the dinner. And I'll show you guys what we're looking at here. <laughs> and like, it, it looks pretty amazing. It looks amazing. I'm so ready for it. And yeah. That's dinner for you all. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> So that's that. We so thankful that you guys watched with us tonight. Yeah. Barley really needs to go outside. <laughs> he does. But we are hungry. We are so hungry. And, Barley. Uh, honestly, this was fun. I think this was a, a really pretty success of a good meal. We hope everyone has an awesome weekend. Oh. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day weekend. Happy and Super Bowl commercial Super Bowl. weekend. Honestly, I'm the fact that it's taking place in California, I'm like super excited because everyone that's playing. What we got going on? Looks delicious. Fire. You cooked it perfectly. Seriously, thanks for watching. If you guys seriously don't mind, go on there and give us a subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. Just hit the little button. Like the videos. Uh, share, share the videos to anyone who you can just to get a subscribe. We are going to do a, a giveaway if we hit 100 subscribers, when we hit 100 subscribers, we're gonna figure out some sort of like- Something fun. Cooking kit or or something fun. Something or maybe fun. we cook dinner for you. Cook dinner for you if you're local. Yeah. I mean, Bring the show on the road if you're local. We'll figure something out. Hey. But again, thanks for tuning in. We're gonna go destroy this once we take the dogs out real quick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, also follow us on Instagram, which is mise en place, M-K-E, at M-I-S-E, E N P L A C E M K E on it's Instagram. It's literally Mies. In place. In with E N place. Yes. Place. So check that out. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. We're thinking probably next weekend again. Literally next weekend. Check out our Instagram though. We do post videos often um, on small little tips of easy stuff you can do, little one minute videos. So. And hey guys, if you have suggestions of like, hey, I want to see this cooked or that cooked, if it's feasible Yeah, let us know. Kitchen, let us know what you want to see. We will totally try to do it. If it's a first time, we'll be honest. We'll let you know, hey, we've never done this before, but we're in for a win. And there's going to be a blooper because I burnt myself. I Jazz burnt got myself. egg white shot all over her face. <laughs> and my chest. Just wait to see that later. I'm going to post that one. Oh, Make God. sure to follow our Instagram and our YouTube because you're going to see that video later. That's hilarious. Uh, fun stuff. All right. We really got to go get the dogs out now, eat food. So. Take care. Bye, everyone. We love you guys. Have a good night. <laughs> See you next time.